Today we're going to talk about some common misconceptions between certifications versus degrees versus experience. Stay tuned. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. Before we begin today's video, I'm going to tell you guys, if a job application is requiring two to five years experience, for instance, and you are not applying for that job because you don't have the experience, you are doing yourself a disservice. When companies are putting these types of requirements on job applications, it's simply a wish list. These employers are wishing that their potential candidates will meet all of these requirements that they are posting online. Now, that's not always the case. They're not always going to find somebody who meets every single requirement. Now, you might, however, have a certification or a degree, but you might not have the experience. You need to apply anyway. No matter what the case may be, I always tell everybody, Everybody, apply anyway. Even if you meet 60% of the requirements that they are looking for, apply anyway. You have no idea who you are competing against. You could land an interview and you can nail it because you are absolutely everything that they are looking for. You could be missing a few things that can be taught easily and the company will put their time and effort into teaching you. So please don't do yourself a disservice and apply for everything, no matter the fact that they are looking for X amount of years of experience. So with that being said, yes, experience weighs very heavily when it comes to IT. And the reason for this being is because certifications and degrees can teach you a lot of the technical skills that you would need for some of the different job roles. However, if you have not applied these skills to a real world scenario in a real business, there are many situations that you just have not experienced yet. Not knowing or understanding how business culture works, how policies work, and simply not knowing how enterprise organizations operate can be aspects of working in the IT field that just take time to learn. Now we talked in the beginning of this video about entry level roles and the experience that's required and just apply for these jobs anyway. However, when you're looking down the road at higher tier jobs in IT, experience is still weighed very heavily in employers making their decisions on potential candidates. Now you should know that it is highly unlikely that you're gonna go out and take your CCNP certification and land a network administrator job with no experience whatsoever. However, with a few years working in the field, maybe a junior networking role or another role that has maybe many networking duties, you can be qualified then for a network administrator job. It does take experience to then be qualified for many of the top tier jobs. Those are just requirements that you just simply can't bypass. Again, having that experience when you're looking at higher level jobs is going to be very crucial to you actually landing those jobs. Even still, when you're competing for some of these top tier jobs, employers are looking at your experience, certifications, and degrees. That is just part of what happens when you start looking at more advanced jobs in this field. Now again, experience is definitely going to help because as you understand how business organizations work, how different policies work in business organizations, those types of skills take some time to learn. An organization may simply not want to hire somebody because they don't know the inner workings of how an enterprise works. And again, that stuff does take time. And again, if you don't understand those inner workings of an enterprise, it can slow you down in your progress. Almost always experience is going to outweigh certifications and degrees. However, there are are organizations that will hire people with degrees right out of college because those are requirements for those job roles. And you may see people with just certifications getting hired over the people with experience simply because the person with experience may not fit their job culture. There's a lot of different aspects at play when going through the hiring process. You can't simply say, well, I didn't have experience and that's why I didn't get hired, or I didn't have this degree and that's why I didn't get hired. Unless specifically the person that you interviewed with told you that's why you didn't get the position, a lot of times you are competing with many other people for some of these job roles. You just may not simply meet the requirements that they're looking for. You may not meet that culture that they're looking for. And somebody might just be better qualified than you. And that's okay. So just to sum everything up, it's a tricky game. 
It all comes down to what companies are looking for. Experience definitely weighs very heavily in the world of IT. No matter what degrees and certifications you have, experience is always something that employers are looking for. However, again, there are employers out there who are looking for people who have degrees and they don't care about the certifications because you meet the requirement of having a degree. That is just simply the case. Again, certifications, you could have that same thing. Just because you have an A-plus certification, you're qualified. They're not looking for you to have experience. They just want to make sure you have that A-plus certification, and they'll teach you everything that you need to know about that job. So again, don't get discouraged if you're not landing interviews or you're not landing the job roles. There are many aspects at play on what is going on during an interview process. If you're having difficulty getting jobs in IT, even with experience, even with degrees, even with certifications. We're gonna talk about that in another video. And again, just to say it one more time, if you're applying for a job and they are requiring two to five years of experience, apply for that job anyway. If it's an entry level role, apply for it anyway. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, hit me up in the comments below. As always, take it easy.